Hey everyone, as you can probably already tell, this is a little bit of a different video. This is going to be more like a vlog, and the focal point will be from the perspective of a five life path in their five year. And the first thing I want to do is cheers. <laughs> cheers to making it to September, cheers to surviving 2020. Cheers to everything. I think it goes without saying that no matter what year it is right now and no matter, you know, what are all of our personal circumstances are individually, everything has been a lot. <laughs> I think uh, you should be proud of yourself as <laughs> Steve from Blue's Clues came on recently and addressed uh, the millennial nation. You know, it's, it's, I think we're in need of that right now. So you should be proud of yourself. And I want this video to be more like coming from Carrie. You know, I want this to be more like a personal vlog. Like I'm kind of just in the room chatting here with you, less so than, you know, authoritative Carrie Jane, the numerologist telling you about something. I want this to be more like a conversation. Like I'm just kind of hanging out with you right now. So feel free to pour yourself a drink. This is some wine. Uh, and if you don't drink, you know, pour yourself a glass of, um, I don't know, anything. <laughs> get yourself some tea, get yourself some coffee, whatever you feel in the mood for right now. And, um, I, you know, just take a time to be in the moment, especially if you're watching this in September. Uh, while, uh, while I'm, you know, recording this video and when I publish it, because that's a great time, as all, a lot of you know. Uh, to be doing that, to be in the present moment. As I've already said, I want to talk about the the five year from the the five life path perspective. There's something really interesting that happens when your personal year number and your life path number coincide. And me only being a five life path, I can't really explain that experience for all of you. I can only kind of draw attention to it. It can only kind of, um, you know, remind you to pay attention to where you are in your yearly cycles. And basically just, you know, just just remind you to, to pay attention and to be observant of, of where you are and how w what it's like moving through those nine years. <sighs> because something very unique happens. As I've said before, when you're moving through the nine-year cycle, it's kind of like you get to try on many different pairs of shoes. You know, when you're in your one year, you get to be, see what it's like to be the leader. You know, when you're in your two, the mediator, uh, the three year, the communicator, so on and so forth. You get a little taste of it. Obviously your life path number is still your life path number, but you get to try on those different shoes because that's kind of like what you're meant to be doing at that time. But then all of a sudden, like I said, your life path number and your personal year number are the same. And you are less trying on new shoes and hopefully becoming more aware of either your purpose here or the wisdom of, you know, this, this chapter of your soul, not just your human body. And... This is how I don't really know how this can be like for all of you because this is a very, very uh, unique individual experience that I cannot describe for you, amongst many other things. So yeah, I just kind of like want to sit here and talk about like how my year has gone so, for so far and this will be an opportunity to check in with you guys as well because some of you watched my like vlogmas journey <laughs> some of you watched my vlogs from 2020 and in one of them i did talk about my goals for 2021 and i had two goals for 2021 back then in in december knowing that this was my five year my year for change and one of them was to get a new job and the other one was to uh, get more writing done. It's great because I, I did manage to get a new job. And in the beginning of this video, you saw, you know, a, a piece of my, my cross country trek. And so that is great. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do 
any writing because it has been a very textbook five year for me. It's been chaotic. I don't know what to say, except thankfully I'm a five life path and I, I, I know how to deal with these things. <laughs> you know, even, even making this video right now, even trying to like edit it and get it all together, uh, just uh, by uh, some crazy chance, I still don't know what happened. I just lost half of the road trip footage. And I remember distinctly taking it off of my SD card and plugging it into my computer and being like, oh good, it's all here and I can just relax now. And there it is, all in that folder on my desktop, I can see it all. And then like, I logged back in a month later and half of it is missing and I, I don't know how that's possible except that this is the kind of year that we have. <laughs> so like everything, just water off a duck's back is some wisdom. For this year and so yeah I'm gonna like refer to my notes here I have like a whole list of, of like video ideas that I have in my notes on my phone where I just jot down every anything that comes to mind that I would like to be a video one day and then I never get to making it but I have it out in front of me here <laughs> this is thankfully one of the ones that are, that's making it you know advice from a five life path in their five year and what I wrote here is basically something that is, is keeping us from living our truth. You know, if, for those of you who don't know, the five life path is the adventurer. So they're here to, to learn about freedom. And they are a lot of things. They're investigators. They are at times pretty uh, gregarious, <laughs> depending on the five life path you're dealing with. They're escape artists, so on and, and so forth. And anything that is involved with freedom, in my opinion, is always like a, often a philosophical journey into truth. And that's always just my perspective on it. <sighs> And yeah, you could like go into my astrology chart and see like, that's where this comes from, of course. But you know, it's, it's uh, it, it, at the end of the day, there is a lot in, in philosophy that I think when you dive into it, you learn a lot about what freedom is, what it means to be free. And then from then on, like about life as a, in general, and your life personally, and your place in it, and what the hell we're all doing here, <laughs> and and it's just, it's a lot sometimes, I think. So I wrote here that you should never resist change simply because the outcome wouldn't be perfect. Because just like you made that decision, you can make another one and go elsewhere, or do something else. As long as you made a plan and didn't do anything reckless. I moved across the country for a job. People do that all the time. That's really not a big deal. But the odd thing is that for a lot of people, it is a big deal. And I'm here as a five life to tell you that it shouldn't be a five life path, that it's like really not. Um, you should not, as I just said, r resist change simply because the outcome isn't perfect. And if you, for example, make a decision and it turns out to create a lot of disharmony or it just it turns out it, it wasn't right for you, guess what? You can just make another decision and do the same exact thing you did and go elsewhere and do something else. It's really that simple. And it doesn't sound simple. And this is where I go on next. It's I wrote here that uh, you were never stuck in one place. Some places take a lot of time and strategy to get out, get out of. I acknowledge that here. But you were never stuck, okay? I think most people fall into the category of, of simple attachment and could actually leave their situation fairly easily. But it would take a lot of effort every day. Uh, it would take a lot of research. It would take a lot of searching and boring time consuming things, honestly. But nothing worth doing is easy. 
and I think people's need to be comfortable over anything else is what sets them back. I'm here to tell you as a five life path that comfort is your enemy. You should be challenged all the time. And I, I'm not saying here that you should just completely ignore your needs and neglect self-care and ignore your gut instincts because I'm not here to tell you that, but I'm here to, to kind of be a little wake up call like, you know those things that you hold on to just because it's comfortable? That's kind of like what I'm here to tell you guys. That's one as a five life path, comfort is your enemy. It's it's not going to keep you where you need to be. It's it's really not. It feels like that, but it's really not. So, what do you actually need to thrive is the question that comes out of this, and it's it's probably not the same old shit every day. Of course, every single person is different, and I can't touch upon every single circumstance here. But this is the wisdom of, of this year, of being in this year. Like, yeah, shit's gonna not work out all the time. But it had to be done. Like, I, I have no, no, way, no way else to put it. Like, if you are so caught up on perfection or if you're so caught up on how something needs to look because it feels good and that is the only place that you are all the time, you're never going to be free. You're never going to get unstuck. That's the hard truth to that. And I'm sorry, but it is. And like I said, some situations call for a lot more. Not everyone has the same circumstance where they can just pick up and leave, but it doesn't mean that you can't. Some things take years, but the time's going to pass anyway. So what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? And I think that... This is what I want to talk about the most right now because it's just simply my own personal life. I know so many people who talk about doing something different every day and they never do. Like literally their entire life, I know them as them complaining about their job, complaining about where they live, complaining about whatever, but like they never do anything about it and then... I find that very confusing as a five life path. Like, you know, if I even had some of these people like get job offers, they don't take them. Why? Um, who cares if it's not the right thing? It's something different. And just like you may, <laughs> just like you got that job offer, you can get another one somewhere else eventually. And then you'll learn, hey, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. And you don't do it again. And that's it. And, you know, for, I, I just think of so many situations because like when you have a family, it complicates things and, you know, it's, I get it. Um, but for me, it, it hasn't been easy for me. You know, I am basically my entire financial support system. I don't have any, I don't have anyone, you know, I don't, I don't have a parents who can pay for my shit if I get in deep shit. <laughs> I don't have... A significant other or a spouse or what have you that can share the financial burdens of my life and I have up until this point been living below the poverty line so I know what that's like you just you you uh, you strategize you become very smart about every single little thing you do and you fucking do it <laughs> get off your ass and you do it and it's truly not going to be perfect. You know, for example, like when I moved here, I, you know, couldn't, I, I didn't know anyone locally and I couldn't like afford to just fly back and forth to, you know, across the country and back to like look at a place to live or anything like that. So I kind of just had to do the Craigslist thing and without actually doing a full investigation of the place that I was living in and the people that I would be living with, you know, I, I had to just kind of like choose the thing that I could afford as a lot of us have to do when we are living below the poverty line and just go with that so that I'd have a place to live when I landed here. And that turned out to not be a great situation. It was unfortunately a very dangerous situation actually. Uh, it was, you know, I was coming home every day and this guy that owned the home that I was renting from was just in my face every time I walked in the door. And like I was in a work meeting at one point, like on my iPad, 
washing dishes, like listening to the presentation and he walks in and he like takes it over and he's like looking at it. And, you know, he just wanted my full attention. He wanted like a relationship with me as I am coming home every day and so on and so forth, which was obviously very uncomfortable for someone who made it very clear as I was moving in, like I'm moving here for work. I'm going to be very overwhelmed when I arrive. I'm going to have all this shit to do. And this person is kind of just like not really wanting a, uh, someone like a tenant, but wanting someone to just have a relationship with. And yeah, fun fact, when you're a woman, men are predators and you got to do what you got to do to get into safe situations. Um, and yeah, when I, when I did tell the, you know, I guess the renters that I was moving out, uh, I was verb, I, I got into verbal altercations, you know, it was a stressful situation. And for those of you who are living in impoverished situations, you know what I'm talking about, because you usually end up in situations that you have very little control over, you know, you can't afford your own apartment. So you just live with other people and you live with their um, human condition, which is a rainbow of pathology that they've typically never dealt with and now it's your problem because you live with them that's been my entire experience my whole life or or what have you you know maybe you like can't afford to move out so you're living with a toxic family member you know I did that too or maybe you can't afford to just do anything so you end up having to be stuck in a location you know so <sighs> There's, there's a lot of situations that you can end up in and I'm explaining this personal experience to you because I understand what it's like to not be safe um, and yet know how to navigate difficult situations anyway because also from a five life path, I'm going to tell you, doesn't matter where you end up, life isn't safe. It's, it's made to be difficult and if you didn't want to do something difficult you wouldn't have been here right now and if you couldn't handle it it wouldn't have been in your life in the first place so if you've been through a lot of shit give yourself a pat on the back real quick <laughs> pat on the back and understand that you no know, even though it's very difficult there is something about this this path of diving into the wave that I, I talked about in my 2021 forecast video and all these monthlies, you know, when you dive into that wave, that's, that's really the only way to, to get to the other, other side. And you are in acknowledging that you are in a, a body, <laughs> you know, a chaotic body of water, for example, medium, which is life. It's a metaphor for life, really. You know, I once had someone tell me that they thought that being in the five life path was the best life path that you could possibly be. I found this really interesting for two reasons. One was that this person was a three life path. Low key, you have it a lot easier, not because your life path number gave you this great, you know, human circumstance where your life is great, because uh, it might have been awful. I don't know. But you're, you're here to, to be good at communications, which if you finally get to a point, or maybe you're naturally good at that, you can do anything in life. And, you know, it's, it's all about the people that you know in this paradigm. It's a great life path to have here. The second reason why I thought this was interesting was that it's literally fucking not. Um, as a five life path, you're here to learn about freedom and we are slaves here. So you kind of have to f learn how to free yourself from that slavery and potentially in a way where you have to free your mind instead of your body because we're all bodies on consignment here. This is a this is a a, a slave planet. It is. It, it's like that for us at least. Uh, us five life paths who feel what it's like on a physical level to have to to uh, swallow the pill of of the workforce for, to, to earn your right to exist. You know, when you, those of you who follow my Facebook page, I'm sure get a lot, you know, you, you understand what I'm, what I'm saying when I say that. You get a lot of, of uh, content from me that's not just airy-fairy, like, 
wow, this card reading and like numbers are great. Here's today's reading, you know, more, more so like this is the fucked up paradigm that we're living in and I'm going to shove it in your face as much as I can <laughs> for you to acknowledge it because that's the only way to transform this place. So those of you who 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 see that kind of content, I think you kind of get it. I think you kind of get it that this is where what it's like for us. A lot of us five life paths who did a lot of deep, hard inner work and instead of uh, just being an escape artist because we can't cope with the fact that we are human slaves here just being really honest be like yeah i'm a slave while i'm here um and i've come to learn how to liberate myself from this paradigm and at the end of the day knowing that uh, my spirit is is much bigger than this situation uh knowing that my path through this will give me um a, a kind of awareness, knowledge, learning, whatever you want to call it, that is invaluable to my soul and, and to everything. And the things that I do here and the service that I give is more important than anything that happens to me here while I'm here. So this is, this is what it's like. <laughs> this is, things come to a head, you know, when you're, you're in your five, your five year and your five life path, you eventually get to this point where you're like, God damn, I am a freedom fighter. <laughs> I am going to get a new job. I'm going to completely change everything. And I don't know how successful I'll be at it, but I'm not going to make any excuses. This is going to happen somehow. So that's what this year has been like for me. And as you can tell, this is unfortunately why I haven't been able to write. So I want to take a moment also to apologize to those of you who were kind of hoping that I'd get more of that done this year, but hopefully you can kind of see why I couldn't. It's been just chaos. And it's just, uh, it's, it's like I said, it's gone by very fast too. I was putting out, I think, so many tiny fires, especially in these past few months, to even notice time go by. <laughs> it wasn't even like I, I, you know, sometimes I kick myself because I knew I noticed the time going by and I, and I didn't do anything about it. But like, I couldn't even sense time going by in this situation that I was in. So I hope that you guys could understand that. And we have a new year coming up. So it's another another chance to make those new goals and to now, knowing what I know now and have done what I've done and accomplished what I set out to do to some extent, I guess, for this past year, I can move forward, hopefully, and actually get some some amount of writing done and get that moving forward, something moving forward. And it's been a journey, and I I would love to know where you guys are at now. Feel free to leave those long comments. I'll read it. And, you know, feel free to tell me, you know, what life path you are and what what year you're in. And especially if you are, like I said, you know, that, that has coincided for you. Tell me what that's like. And of course, if you want to know <laughs> your personal year number, your everything associated with that cycle, that's what my personal monthly monthly readings are on on Patreon. That's what I'm when I talk about that. That's what that's for is to learn about that. That's where you learn a lot about this. It's an invaluable service. I think it's honestly better than knowing your life path number. Even like all the videos that I did on on the life path number and you know seeing repeating numbers and and yeah everything. All that was is great, but. I really feel like knowing where you are in the year and understanding the bigger picture of the nine year cycle and knowing what chapter you're in is honestly even better than knowing what life path number you are personally. That's how I feel about that. So yeah, if you're curious about that, the links are in the description, etc. But like I said, I'd really like to know where you guys are now. And I think that 
like I was talking about in my my forecast video for September, a lot of, of, of transformation is happening right now. It seems to be just below the surface. I can feel the tides turning, but it's not happening in the way that I want it to necessarily in my visual reality. But if you think about it, true transformation happens from the inside out. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe for it to actually happen, it can't be from the outside. And us seeing that and having it change us anymore, it has to be the opposite. We have to be active participants in it and give it our permission, actually allow it to happen no matter how difficult it is. Comfort is your enemy. And I know that that's, that's not the warm, fuzzy feeling that we all are craving all the time and are seeking out to ease our discomfort so that we can get on with the day. But I'm telling you that we shouldn't have to get on with the day anymore. It eventually comes to a head where you have to confront something and be uncomfortable so that you don't have to live in a constant state of wanting to seek that comfort to get, you know, by. Then you don't have to get by anymore. You can just live your life. And that's that's the wisdom of the five life path. <laughs> Confront it head on. And uh, just that it's it's a brave existence. Honestly, it's not easy. I Again, I laugh when I think about that person telling me like, oh, I would have loved to be a five life path. It's so fun. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, not for me. Maybe for some five life paths, maybe, you know, they were given, you know, it, it, your, your life path number is never going to dictate like what circumstance you're born into. Yeah. If you're a five life path and your parents have a lot of money and you're white and you're male, I, that sounds like a great time because <laughs> you're lucky you get through situations. Of course, you might not be so lucky because you might have a constant need to escape and then you just become an addict and, you know, that's it. But, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's uh, all, of, all of our purposes here are much deeper than the, I, I don't know how to put it, the appearance of everything of your zodiac sign and your life path number and that's why now there's evolutionary astrology etc because the distinction needs to be made cool yeah this stuff is fun it's great for parties people want to know people people want want to be told fun stuff about themselves but we're all here for such an incredibly important reason and it's time that we kind of step into that. And maybe it's not for you right now. Maybe, maybe you'll, you know, those two numbers will coincide and, and you'll discover your own version of this. And it's going to be quite unique and, and beautiful, probably, and maybe hard. But like I said, nothing easy is, is you know, worth doing. Like if it's, if it's hard, it's probably worth the time and the effort. So, there is a lot to look forward to, even if it doesn't feel that way, in light of everything that I just said. And I've got a whole list of videos that I've never made <laughs> that are more vlog-esque, so to speak, that I might make. And of course not. You know, there's, there's playlists that I just don't have the time to make, and... You know, I've, I I live below the poverty line, so I gotta I can't like just devote all my time to this. This is always like um, something that I completely volunteer my time to, and so it's it's not gonna look like everything that you see on YouTube, and and that's fine. I'm fine with that. I don't know if everyone else here is fine with that. I'm sorry, but it's like it's kind of how it is for me, and that's why it's so. Um, so important guys to like support your your small business people whether it be on youtube or some content creator somewhere 
we uh, we can't exist without you, truly. And that, I think, would be revolutionary to just actually be able to vote for who gets to exist by not just the likes and not just the attention and the uphill battle of algorithms on these platforms. It is never ending and it was the hardest time to start on YouTube for me personally, but uh, at the end of the day, like I said, it's about freedom for me and, and in light of that, it doesn't matter what happens to me or how easy it is for me or how not easy it is for me. It matters more so about what did I say that day that that planted a seed in someone or or what did I contribute to that person's day that changed it ever so slightly where they could go to bed feeling kind of different for the first time and that helped them with, with uh, what they were dealing with the next day or... You know, it's, it's all the small things that you guys do. And when, you know, <laughs> it's just, when you do that, you're un kind of unstoppable. And that's, that's hard to articulate. It doesn't feel like that, does it? It doesn't. But you, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Let life surprise you. Next year, we have a whole other set of stuff coming. It's a little fuzzy to me next year, which always concerns me <laughs> and I never really know exactly what we're getting into. But um, whatever comes, I'm sure that it's a necessary part of this journey no matter how difficult or not difficult it is, like I said, and, you know, thank you so much for being here with me on this journey, and thank you so much for those of you who have taken the time, there's not many of you who have taken the time to, you know, watch those monthlies and uh, subscribe to this channel and actually be here, that's everything, and, uh, you know, I see you, and I want to thank you for that, a toast to that as well. Toast to you guys. Thank you. But yeah, so I know this video is very long. I'm not expecting a lot of people to watch it because of this, but if you did make it to to this point, um, yeah, just, just thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, soon I'm going to have to make videos on 2022. That's, that's just going to be a few weeks of trying to sit with myself and sit with the universe and look at things. And, and that's always a process, always a process. And I think that I can, I can feel the, a change of the seasons. I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to seeing what's around the corner with you guys in this ever evolving story even though it's not so great all the time, even though it's far from perfect. I look forward to doing this with you guys. Thank you for not just being here on this channel, but being here on the planet with me. <laughs> Thank you for doing all that you guys do. And yeah, I, I probably forgot half of what I wanted to touch upon in this video, but it's already too long. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you all soon with October's monthly Stay tuned for that. Uh, press the notification bell to be notified of these monthlies. And yeah, let me, please let me know how you're doing in the comments. I look forward to them. All right, so take care and enjoy the rest of your week, guys.